Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Just figured I'd show you guys my snowmobile. Just I got it last year, I think, maybe the year before. Actually, you know what? In about March or so, I think I got this one. Yamaha 94 VMAX 600. She gets some snot. Sure, uh, this is my first snowmobile, so this is my first time playing around with it. Got, uh, had to replace one of the idler wheels. Um, bought it from my buddy for 350 bucks. I didn't think it was too bad. The seat's been ripping more. The seat, the rip wasn't even that bad when I got it. Just uh, riding it today, it's been ripping. So, but yeah, it's it's a really good, really good machine. See, you know, my buddy takes really good care of his stuff. It's really immaculate. So for 350 bucks, I mean, it rips not. So I headed out on the pond doing about 60. It's not a very long pond, obviously, named Pond. So, but, uh, oh, barely see it, 60, 601, 6,010, there you go. We did about five miles today, maybe six. I reset it after that, took it out for a little thing, a little rip. But, uh, yeah. Not too bad for 350 bucks. Uh, the only biggest thing Dad said when he first got picked it up in March was that uh, it needed some new carbide rods because it doesn't steer worth a shit. So uh, I, I picked, ordered some of those on Friday, and because uh, the place was pretty damn close to us, they said, "Oh yeah, it'll be there tomorrow." Uh, Friday or no, I ordered them on Thursday and Friday. They said they'd be here. Well, it's Saturday already, and I still don't have them. And they were out for delivery on Friday, but then they uh, all of a sudden got that, oh, severe weather, blah, 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 after it's already out for delivery. So something must have happened to the truck. And the package was on. But uh, she's stock under the hood. Guess I'll give a quick little video, because I don't know how many people actually do like an in-depth video of their little Yamaha. But, uh, pretty pretty decent for for the age I mean it's one year older than I am so what do you expect I guess gets a little dirty over time but, uh, yeah I'll fire up here once she's warmed up she's one start pull one pull start is that called dyslexic this one's water cooled so that's pretty nice Everything but the handle heaters work, so uh, that's the best on. Yeah, she runs real good, just rips like a freaking tornado through a little village, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the truck could be in a bit better shape, I think. It's missing some teeth here and there, and uh, just getting a little dry it's original probably the other thing i tried to do was this the slides you can see some plastic peeling because i was just chiseling away on this thing you know they're all oh, just use a screwdriver and hammer it back you know that uh, didn't do jack shit obviously i took the screw out but uh i put the screw back in not dumb but that's the idler we replaced there the rubber was just completely freaking gone Oh, where do we set that here? Uh, yeah, the idler was just pretty freaking roached. That was the only one like that. Put a new bearing in it and everything, so well, that's good to go for a little while. Got to do bearings on it this summer. I'll think about getting a new track for it because she put this light, fluffy stuff we got. I mean, it's pretty damn thick camera don't do justice i mean we got at least 12 inches of snow at least 12 inches uh just accumulated uh we recently got about they probably got about seven inches down here the other day so uh yeah she's a real nice day but uh, the track does kind of seems to float on us and uh and you give her full chooch i mean it uh, takes her a little bit to get some grip but uh i mean not when you're already rolling and you give her some beans it takes her a second to get some real grip to get you moving but 
yeah, 350 bucks for my buddy ain't too dang bad. So, heck yeah. But, uh, that's about that. Just figured I'd give you guys a quick little peek at uh, my new toy. I just start. this is my first time riding and everything on my own. My dad obviously had me in his lap when I was younger, but you know, that was eons ago. <laughs> so, yeah, staying good so far. I'm happy with it. And I just figure, you know, he, he figured he'd give it to me for a good deal. And I figured, you know what, it's a good chance to see whether it's something I want to get into or not. So, you know, it's 350 bucks ain't too dang bad for a starter, you know. And especially in as good a condition as it's in, you know. It looks fairly freaking new if, you know, they if the new newer designs weren't so space age looking but uh and he takes good care of his stuff and i'm glad i got to buy it from him so yeah liquid cooled on a two cycle but you know it's got a separate oil reservoir from the gas tank so that's nice don't have to pre-mix nothing hopefully hopefully the oil jets don't ever plug up or something so but, uh, yeah i'm just gonna get her put away and uh it's more stuff to take care of while I'm down here, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching. God bless.